Alright, hello all, this is D Swank. I am doing something that I've said I was going to do for a while, um, which was, as soon as I figured out how to get Starfleet Command to work on out of Steam on Windows 10, I'd do a video on it. And so you know, if you select the game, go to Discussions, uh, Guides... There's currently two guides, and this is uh, the guide by just Apex here, how to get Starfleet Command to run on Windows 10. Uh, but I'm going to go through it in a step-by-step -step manner so that everyone, well, you get to see how it works, okay? Well, starting off, um, you need to go to your properties here. So, in case you didn't see, you right-click on your the game, and down at the bottom there's properties. Okay? And local files, and browse local files. Alright? So this will bring up where you have the game installed. So, this is just easy if you have Steam. If you can find where you have this installed. This will work for the game, uh, uh, good old games, uh, grand old games version as well. And if you still have the CD, it should work from that as well. So, you from here, you find config right here, this application file right here. You run it. And hopefully it'll... Uh, ah, there we go. Alright. Here you select... Software. Okay. You set it to the maximum resolution was 800 by 600. And... Hit OK. So we got step one done. Now you come down here to the application, this one right here. Right click on it, and up here there's troubleshoot compatibility. We we'll click on that. Now it's going to think for a little bit, and we select try. Is it. This is just the menu. Troubleshoot program. Yeah, we select troubleshoot program there. Uh, the program worked in an earlier vin version of Windows, but won't install or run now. Click that. Next. Now, it worked on Windows XP Service Pack 3. So you click that. Next. And you can either hit test or just next again. Okay, it wants me to test it. Yes. Should launch, but there's a couple more configurations that we need to do before we're actually ready to play. So game is launching. Oh. Uh. Yes. I forgot I, <laughs> I sound screwed up. So next. Okay. Save these settings. And close. Alright. Now we go to SFC configuration. So I double-clicked on that, opened it up in Notepad, because i that's how I have these files set. And down here, we have UI Grace's mouse. Async here needs to be equal to zero. Save. Now... It should run in full screen, okay? 
Now, if you want, this is an optional bit that if you want to run it in, um, not in full screen, in a, another method, there's a program that you can download called DXWND that you can mess around with. You can look at the guide for how to get that to work. And yeah. So, that is how you get Starfleet Command to work again. You basically, those three things, uh, get, uh, your config file set up, your, um, SFC configuration settings with the async equals zero, and then go through and tell the Windows 10 to run this on, um, XP Service Pack 3 settings. So, there you go. That was what something I'd promised I would do, and I've gotten it done now. And I hope this helps anyone that actually wants to play this game, because I love it. Now that I've done this, I'm probably going to do... do a series on it, and my mouse, for some reason, is double-clicking when I single-click, for some reason. But, um... Yeah. I hope you've enjoyed this, and I'll see you next time. Until then, bye bye